renewable and non-renewable resources. A video study guide lesson brought to you by gedstudyguide.org. Resources are anything that humans or organisms need to survive. There are many different types of resources. The type of resource depends on what it is needed for. For example, we have natural resources, which are things like air, water, soil, minerals, and energy. Now let's explore what each of these natural resources actually are. Air is a resource because we require it to live and survive. Air is included in many aspects of our survival, like respiration, climate, and weather. Water is a resource that is used for drinking, bathing, cooking, industrial processes, and agriculture. Soil is a layer of rock, living organisms, water, air, and organic matter in which plants are rooted for growth. Soil is an essential natural resource for agriculture and food production. Minerals are what rocks are made of, and they are a natural forming inorganic substance with a crystalline structure. We also have resources that are categorized as energy resource, which are fossil fuels, geothermal energy, water, wind, and solar energy. We can further separate resources into renewable or non-renewable. Non-renewable resources have no replacements once they are used and take millions of years to naturally form. An example of non-renewable resources are fossil fuels, which are things like coal, natural gas, peat, and oil. Fossil fuels are main sources of energy for heating, transportation, and electricity. Renewable resources have supplies that will never run out. In other words, they have an unlimited supply, and they are able to cycle throughout the environment. An example of a renewable resource is solar energy, energy from the sun, which constantly cycles in our environment. Other examples of renewable resources include water from flowing rivers, wind power, and geothermal heat from the Earth's crust. Resources are destroyed through consumption, pollution, and overuse. Fossil fuel emissions pollute the air and deplete the ozone layer as they release compounds called CFCs into the atmosphere. To help preserve these resources, we practice conservation. Positive steps of conservation include reducing gasoline consumption, recycling, using particular agricultural methods, and creating water and sewage treatments. For more information about the GED science exam, please visit gedstudyguide.org. Click the link below to subscribe.